Okay, I'm going through the mud hole. This is the hole we have boarded. I have boarded. And I gotta be careful because I cut some corners on here and then the off cameras are bad. So this machine is more stable. There are some off cambers. Like this one is pretty bad. Whoa, whoa. So here you are, Majestic Lost Trails. The Mud Trail. I gotta catch up to the guys. And they are on a fast pace today. I'm in low, four wheel drive low. Trying to catch up. Hey, I'm not sure where, I think this is where I go. in the water. Man, those guys moving today. Holy cow. I'm not sure we're there. Okay, Mike waited up for me. Thank God. They are flying today. The Godfather of Mud. If I can catch up to him. <laughs> so let me tell you, I am I enjoy off-road riding. I love the machine. Love the pride and ownership. Love the camaraderie with the greatest guys in the world to ride with. Uh, I, I am not the best of drivers, off-road drivers either on an ATV or a side but it's like, oh, bottom down hard there. Either on an ATV or a side but it's like, oh, bottom down hard there. Something hit hard. That was a hard hit. Okay. You know, it's really kind of disappointing that this little rock, I know it has sharp edges, took out my tire. Man, it's kind of ridiculous. These guys are going, they are on a mission to get out of here. They're going so fast. <laughs> Hopefully you can see what's going on. wonder if I got through the first part of this trail with the razor trail if I could have done it. Well I hope I didn't blow my front tire out with whatever I hit. She's cramming a little bit.
not want two-wheel drive machines in here. They don't want sport bikes in here. They give you plenty of warnings before you take this trail. You know, to stay out of, boy, I feel something funny on the front end. I really wonder if I lost my tire. Uh, I don't know, should I go through here? right front look my tire flat flat, flat. Oh, shit completely flat do you have a pump it was a bad sidewall puncture sam plugged the sidewall with three plugs dave operated the pump mike and i had technical support and overview andy did the photography. <laughs> it was a group effort. I ride with the greatest group of guys. I call them the trail rangers. And when something, one of us has a breakdown or a problem, the rest of us just jump to help. And there was no doubt with our my trail rangers there that I was going to get this machine off the trail. There you can see the uh, plug Sam put in. He did a great job. Awesome job, thank you guys. So I did have a sidewall blowout. Thank God Sam had some plugs and we plugged it and it was a rock. It did blow out on a rock. I almost knew, I think I commented in the video when it happened. Uh, we did not have the plug goo. He had self adhesive plugs. They were kind of dry. My goal is just to get out of here and get to the main driveway to get in here and then I'm going to take the road back to my trailer slowly to get out of here. Mike, you think right? So good. There is a really heavy 
off camber getting out of here. I hope the tire holds. Sam, how does it look? Good job. Yeah, I was looking at a new machine with 30 inch tires that the rims and tires would fit this machine. I'm not going to see that until July. I actually thought of putting those tires on the machine, so I'm not sure if I should just put a OEM tire on this and go with that. to get out of here slowly the guys are great of course the trail rangers are the greatest guys to ride in mike's got to hit the mud hole oh boy that's stress on that side on that dip oh boy how's the best way to get out of here So the reason why you upgrade tires from OEM tires, I think the biggest reason is for sidewalls and I knew I knew that was going to be the weak point with these tires was a sidewall. I knew that was going to happen. So they're OEM tires. I knew the sidewall was going to be the weak link and sure enough that's what it was. By the way, this is one of the reasons why I avoid this. I hate, I hate fixing things and repairing them. I don't like spending the time or the money on them. And uh, you know, this is this is the result. Okay, here's a big off camber. of off cameras to get out of here. Let me try to pick a line. Not too bad. Oh, there's the road. That's the road I want right ahead of me. So hopefully I can get out of here and get on that road. I should almost be there. something wrong I could feel it pull into that side and uh, it did not it did not seem right I knew there was something wrong and sure enough I asked Mikey to look at it and he said you're completely flat and uh, you know you're just you're just stuck it's part of this hobby you know now I don't know whether I should buy all new tires for this machine I know that's gonna be the weak link is the tires camber I'm talking about. I think that's the last one. I think I'm almost out of here. So when I get out of here, I'm going to put it two-wheel drive high and uh, take the 
road back to the trailhead. I think it's a mile down the road. I'm gonna take that slowly to get back rather than taking the trail back. Look at these rocks. And I don't advise anyone to drive on the road with a side-by-side -side ATV. But in this case, it's the best route to get the machine back and not hold up the whole crew, rather than limping along. on them. That did me in. By the way, it was my decision to come in here. I wanted to see how this machine would do in it, and it's fine, except the tires. I knew the tires were the weak link. So this is part of the hobby. And, uh, you know, i got to figure out what I'm going to do with tires. By the way, this is a great, if you have a mud machine, a rock crawler, this is a great trail, this mud trail, to do it. So good.
got some water hole. <laughs> Back in the mud. That's the water hole trail. Casualty one front tire. Hope I'm out of here. Yeah, I'm out of here. doesn't feel right. Mike says it, it has air in it, it looks good. It, it doesn't feel right though. It feels like it's pulling a little bit to that side. It almost feels like the machine is crabbing. Let it break an axle. Looks good? good? Okay. Good. Taking the road back still, right? Yep, I'm taking the road back. Thank you guys, I'm sorry. No, 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 that's okay. Yeah. I'll see you for lunch. Yeah. Mike, he's good. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, he is. Sam's the man. Sam's the man. I called Sammy the bull. <laughs> I'll see you back at the trail. I'm gonna go slow. I have a tire kit. I think I took it out to work, patch a tire on my brother's car. 